presentation, um, Clement uh, will uh, present about Lemon LDAP and G2.0. Thank you very much. Hi, uh, thank you for being here. I'm very happy to, to be there too and to present uh, Lemon LDAP NG2.0. Uh, maybe a, a quick uh, question. Uh, who knows about uh, Lemon LDAP here in this room? Oh, great. So, so some, some of the, these people have, are from my company, so they, they knew the product, <laughs> the cheats. But uh, I'm happy to see that uh, other people also knew it. Um, I'm here to present this uh, brand new release because uh, we work uh, uh, three, three years to be able to, to, to release it. And uh, we have a lot of new features. Uh, first, I will, uh, for, for people that didn't know this product, I will uh, present it. Uh, Lemon LDAP NG is about uh, single sign-on and web single sign-on. So a, a small uh, picture to, to understand how it works. Um, the goal is to protect access to, uh, to web application and to give uh, uh, authentication uh, to the application. So uh, when a user wants to connect to the application the first time, he needs to be able to, uh, to authenticate, so he will be uh, redirected on the authentication portal. So Lemon LDAP NG is a, a software that implements the authentication portal. Uh, when he logs in, he will uh, uh, have a, a single sign-on token, a security token, and this token will be uh, used by the application to authenticate the, the users. So um, there is a trust between the application and uh, the single sign-on uh, system, and we see this trust can be uh, uh, used with many protocols, like uh, maybe you know uh, a CAS protocol, SAML protocol, OpenID Connect, etc. Um, the goal is when the user connects to uh, another application, uh, a two, uh, twice application, third application, uh, as he already owns a security token, he will be able to connect without uh, login again. So he will just have to enter his password or anything else at the first connection. Some uh, history, uh, it's a very old software. Um, uh, it was uh, built in uh, France. Uh, it's now used uh, uh, in other countries, of course. Um, the fork was done uh, with the NG uh, version, which is new generation, but which is also Gendarmerie Nationale in France. So they, they are the, the same letters. Uh, it's very used in uh, administration in France, but also in uh, uh, private companies. And uh, we implement a lot of protocols. And the last one was uh, OpenID Connect. And we released uh, last year the, the 2.0 uh, version with uh, the second factor uh, feature. So what are the main features? Um, of course, web single sign-on. But uh, we are also uh, provide access control. Uh, it means that you can uh, uh, configure in the centralized uh, database uh, which are the access rules to the application. So you can say this group of users can access to uh, OnCloud, but this other group uh, cannot access and uh, can access to uh, the intranet, etc. So you can use any uh, information of the users to control the access. Um, this provides uh, uh, a portal in which you can see your application. And of course, you only see the application that you have access to. So uh, users cannot click on applications that they can't uh, access. Um, we have a lot of authentication models. We will see that. We, are, we have some uh, self-services. So a user can, of course, change his password or ask your, uh, a password reset or ask an account question. And uh, multi-factor authentication. Uh, we protect web application and we'll see uh, that we are uh, also able to protect web services and API. Uh, of course, uh, it's an open source and free software project, so you can customize it. And we provide uh, some packages for main distribution. Um, it's GPL. Uh, it's a project from OW2. Maybe some of you uh, know this uh, uh, foundation. Uh, you can access it uh, on, on our website. 
And uh, we are uh, building a, a full uh, identity and access management project, which is called uh, Fusion IAM, in which you will find OpenLDAP, Fusion Directory, Lemon LDAP NG, LDAP Toolbox, and I see a, a lot of tools, uh, open source tools, to build a full identity and access management solution. So um, uh, Lemon LDAP NG is a single signing component of these uh, big tools. So what inside uh, the project? Um, I try to, to put some colors to, to make this uh, happier. Um, what is important, is you see that you have a configuration and session uh, uh, database uh, in the center of the, the product. Uh, you can use any, anything you want for this. Uh, this can be local files, this can be a PostgreSQL database, this can be an LDAP directory, this can be a Redis or MongoDB uh, NoSQL uh, database. And then, the portal will be um, the visible part of the product in which the user, uh, the, the user will be able to log in and then to uh, get the SAML, uh, CAS, OpenID tokens to use the self-service, etc. Uh, the manager is just the administrative uh, interface uh, in which you can uh, uh, see the configurations, you can see the sessions, and the handler is a small agent we will see uh, just uh, after how it works, uh, which will be uh, uh, protecting the web application. It is not mandatory to use a handler to use uh, to do a single sign-on with a Lemon LPNG because you see that uh, we support CAS, SAML, and OpenID Connect protocol. This means if your application is already compatible with these protocols, you can directly plug in this application to Lemon LPNG. If you don't have any compatibility with these protocols, you can use the agent, which is called the handler, that will be uh, set in front of your web application and that will intercept all the calls uh, and the HTTP requests done to the application. So when a user wants to access your application, the handler controls the request, uh, sees if there is a, a single sign-on token, which is a cookie, um, it will match this cookie with the session in the database, and if this match, it will be able to uh, control the access rules and then to send the identity of the users through an HTTP header. So you can uh, deliver to web applications the identity of the user like you do uh, with a simple uh, uh, Apache uh, authentication module. Maybe some of you knows how to set up a mode uh, mod hot basic or mod hot uh, LD, LDAP uh, in Apache, the handler is the same thing that an Apache authentication module. So the, the application is just reading inside the HTTP request the identity of the user. Um, of course, you can use anything on these standard protocols. Uh, uh, Lemon NG is a client and server on this protocol. So of course, it, it is a, an identity provider. So you can connect any application that is a CAS client or SAML client to Lemon LPNG. But if you already have a CAS server or an OpenID Connect server in your organization, Lemon LPNG can also be the client. So you can delegate the authentication to your main uh, identity server. Uh, you do attribute sharing. We, we do a, a lot, a lot of things in these protocols. Uh, of course, we manage the, the public private, key, private keys and uh, we add the access control uh, over the, these protocols. Because these protocols are just authentication protocols, they are just designed to, to tell uh, the, the application, okay, this user is connected, here is, uh, here is this uh, security token, and the, uh, the application uh, trusts the security token. But we can also, with Lemon LDAP NG, uh, choose to deliver the security token uh, against uh, access rules. So if you don't want a user to access this application, Lemon LDAP NG will refuse the to deliver the security token to this application. So uh, um, a good uh, feature is also to be able to be a gateway between these protocols. You can imagine, for example, you have a CAS server in your organization and you have an application with this uh, SAML client. You can put Lemon LDAP NG between. Uh, Lemon LDAP NG uh, will be the SAML server for your SAML application and will be the CAS client for your CAS server. So you will be able to uh, link any uh, application with any protocols with it. And uh, the last point, single logout, which is very important. 
is because single sign-on is just to authenticate the users on all applications, but we want, uh, we also want to be able to log out the, um, the user. So single logout is how I tell to uh, all applications to log out the user. So what are the big new features? Uh, the first is uh, linked it to the, 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 the presentation that was just before me, which is the second factor authentication. So if you were there just before, uh, the, the, the guy from OnCloud say uh, they can handle uh, two-factor authentication. Uh, with Lehman NG and LDAP NG, we, also, uh, uh, we are also able to handle this second-factor authentication. And we are uh, able to protect OnCloud, so you can also do second-factor authentication on OnCloud through Lehman LDAP NG. This is another solution to, to do it. So you see we, we, we are doing QTP, YubiKey, etc. Um, with configuration backends, you see that we, 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 are, we were able to store it in files and uh, database, etc. You, we now use uh, new backends like your YAML file or, or REST, etc. Um, for people that are doing uh, JavaScript or Node, uh, there is a, a native uh, handler, native authentication ag agent for Node.js. Because I, I didn't, maybe I didn't say it, but all the product is written in pair. So all people are not aware with the pair language. So you can also uh, use a native uh, uh, JavaScript uh, client. Um, um, we wanted to add the DevOps keyword in, in our product. So we did it. <laughs> we are very proud of it. Um, the goal uh, is to be able to deploy an application with uh, a single uh, a configuration file inside the, 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 the container. Uh, so you, 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 uh, you can deploy an application uh, without declaring it inside the main configuration. Uh, it will uh, read its own rules from its container. So this is the single sign-on as a service. And also a, a, big, uh, a big new feature is the web service protection. So we, if you already uh, manage uh, web services or API, um, you know that authenticating people to API is not easy because the people are not uh, accessing directly the API. You are accessing to a web application, and this web application will access to the API uh, with your credentials. But of course, you don't want to share your password with the application. You don't, you don't, you don't want that the application uh, resend your own password to the API. So uh, we found a solution. Uh, you see that we still have uh, the handler, so the authentication agent, in front of the web application, but we are able to put a second uh, handler between the web application and the web services, the API, and the first agent is able to uh, generate a token. This token will be sent to the web application, and the web application is able to send uh, request to the web service, so the web service, with this token. This token uh, is linked to the user session, so the, the service token handler will be able to find we, uh, which user is uh, requesting the web services, and the web, web services, so you, you will be able to do uh, two, two things. The first is to do access control on the web services. You can say, okay, uh, this token uh, is owned by this user, and this user can access to this web service or cannot access to this web service. So the web service don't, don't manage the authorization. Uh, and the handler will also pro, uh, 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 forward the user identity to the web service. So the request uh, will be uh, sent to the web service with the user login, uh, email, or what, whatever you want. And all this is configured inside, inside uh, Lehman LFNG. Um, regarding uh, authentication models, uh, we have some new models. Uh, we already have uh, between uh, 10 and uh, 15 uh, authentication models. Uh, we add uh, these this, uh, four uh, models, but we can already uh, authenticate through, uh, through uh, LDAP, Active Directory, uh, uh, Kerberos, uh, uh, SSL certificates, etc., etc. And you can write your own uh, authentic authentication modules. Um, we, we do some modification on the managers, uh, the administration interface. 
you can now uh, uh, compare two configuration when you modify one, one configuration. In Lemon Lab NG, since the beginning, when you edit the configuration, we generate a new configuration with a new number. Uh, and now you can uh, see with the graphical interface what are the difference. Um, of course, we added the second factor, so you can now manage second factor. You can uh, delete a second factor for a user, for example, and you can sort uh, session. Uh, if you know uh, Renater or Edugain uh, organization, uh, we are now fully uh, compatible uh, with uh, this organization, so you can do identity federation with ML and PNG, and uh, we have a plugin engine, engine so you can write uh, any uh, new feature uh, with a simple plugin uh, inside um, the MLNDAP engine. So we have already some plugins which are in the core uh, product, but you can write your own plugin. And to conclude, uh, a list of, of, of new features. Uh, we have REST services, uh, we, can, we have the many translations, and you can select your language. Uh, we are now with uh, Bootstrap 4 for the graphical interface, etc. etc. Right, I'm in the time.